And my basics of my hadith, I acquired my knowledge from Dr. Professor Ziyar Rahman Asmi. And in the passage of time, I became very close to him. And when I was studying under him, I asked him the question that whenever I say in my lecture that Muslims should follow Quran and say hadith, Quran and say hadith, do we have all the say hadith compiled together? And the answer but naturally was no. Yes, there are many books of say hadith, we have say Bukhari, say Muslim, then we have Qutb Sitta, etc. But we don't have all the say hadith compiled together. The best work that was done at that time was by Shaykh Nasr al-Albani. Besides the two Sahihin, Bukhari and Muslim, the remaining four books of the Qutb Sitta, that is Sunan Abu Daud, Sunan Nisai, Tirmidhi, and Ibn Majah, Shaykh Nasr al-Albani, he bifurcated into Sahih and Zayf. So you have the Silsala is Sahih, which has compilation of all the Sahih Hadith in the balance four books of the Qutb Sitta. But to say that all the Sahih Hadith were compiled, many of the people tried in the past, but no one completed the project. So while discussing with Sheikh Prophet Ziyarim and Azmi, this was the time that maybe the seed was sown. And after he retired, Alhamdulillah, he spent about 15 to 18 years in this project. And he compiled all the Sahih Hadith together. And according to Prophet Ziyarim and Azmi, he told me, that there are about more than a million hadith that is there. If you remove all the duplicates, many hadiths are duplicate, the matter is the same. The chain of narrators are different, or maybe the matter, the matter differs very slightly. So if you remove the duplicate hadith, different chains, but the matter being the same, he told me there are approximately 60,000 hadith. From the 60,000 hadith, he told me at that time, approximately 16,000 will be sahih. And after he retired, Alhamdulillah, he took this volume in his project, to compile all the Sahih Hadith of all the books, not only the Qutb Sitta, but all the other books of Hadith and get them together and remove the duplicates so that anyone who reads this book can say that he has read all the Sahih Hadith. And he told me that to the best ability, he finished this project, maybe I think about four years back. And that was the first edition that was printed in the manuscript form, it was in 20 volumes. and. This work was given to Darul Salam for printing. And they printed this book, which Sheikh Ziyar Rahman called it as Jami Kamil. The full name is Al Jami Al Kamil Fil Hadith As Sahih Al Shamil. This is a complete name. Short form is Jami Kamil, we say. But the full name is Al Jami Al Kamil Fil Hadith As Sahih Al Shamil. This is the complete name. And it was printed in 12 volumes by Darul Salam, the Arabic. And it contained about 16,500 hadith. All the duplicates removed and it gave the chain of narrators. It also gave the hujja why this hadith is sahih or why this hadith is zaif and didn't include it into the main list. And he had his own criteria. Every scholar, besides the basic criteria that is there of the sahih hadith, they have their own way of analyzing. And they may agree with most of the scholars, they may differ sometimes. So he gave his reasoning why he differed when some scholars said it is sahih and according to him it wasn't sahih, it was zaif. He gave his reasoning or some scholars said zaif and he said it is hasan. So the takhrij is also there. So all this put together, the chain of narrators with the takhrij, it was approximately 16 and a half thousand hadith. And he added another 3,000 hadith to it. Those hadith which were very commonly known. It may be zaif, it may be modu. So people should not say that he skipped it. And even those hadith which were said to be sahih by famous muhaddisin, but he considered it as zaif. He even mentioned that and that was another 3,000 hadith. So that no one could say that he missed. And I could say that Alhamdulillah, if not 100%, we can safely say that more than 95% of all the Sahih Hadith that is available has been compiled in this al jami Kamil. Alhamdulillah, it was a voluminous work. And later on, in the next two or three years, he spent in revising that. And recently, mashallah, just a few months back, the second revised edition has been printed of this al jami al Kamil in Pakistan. But this time, the lettering is a little bit bigger, so it is 19 volumes. And Alhamdulillah, I requested him that why doesn't he make a condensed version, a muqtasar al jami Kamil, so that it can be translated. Because the main book is good for scholars and for researchers, but for normal layman, they are not so much bothered about the takhrij, they are more bothered about the hadith. So he agreed and he also made a muqtasar jami Kamil in five volumes, which doesn't have the takhrij, which only has the sanat of the hadith and hadith number. He may say this hadith is also there in Sahih Bukhari, hadith number so-and-so, also there in Sahih Muslim, hadith number so-and-so, also in Abu Dawud, hadith number so-and-so. So, at the end of the hadith, he even gave the references where it's present. And the same hadith may be present in three books, or in four books, or in five books, many a time more than that. So that no one can say that these hadith have been missed. And inshallah, 
just for your knowledge, we are collecting all the Sahih Hadith together. The Sahih Hadith, we have Bukhari, Muslim, Tirmidhi, all the Hadith, but not all Sahih Hadith together in one form. When you say Quran and Sahih Hadith, to read all the Sahih Hadith will take how much time? Kutub is there, which contains only half the Sahih Hadith. There are other Sahih Hadith outside Kutub Sitta. So we are doing a project in Medina as well as in Riyadh with two groups of different scholars collecting all the Sahih Hadith and removing the duplicate. And inshallah, Dawud Salaam will be printing it first, inshallah. This is a project which is very important. When we say Quran and Sahih Hadith, so we have the Quran. Where do we have Sahih Hadith in one particular book format or one set of volumes? We don't have. Inshallah, it will take another two years. Both the teams, inshallah, will finish by next year. We have one team working in Medina and here is the set. The project is so important that two groups of scholars are working, one in Riyadh and what we could get the best in the country. And mashallah, IRF is sponsoring the full of both these teams with a group of scholars. Inshallah, in the next two years, it will be released. And inshallah, Dawud Salaam would be the first, first publisher to print it, first in Arabic and then translate into very different languages. And I always told in my lecture from the time I'm lecturing, for mashallah, more than 20 years, more than 25 years I'm lecturing, and I have to always say that Quran and Sahih Hadith, Quran and Sahih Hadith. And we know that Quran, I can show you a book, Quran. When it comes to Sahih Hadith, it's difficult. Where are the Sahih Hadith? And the best reply we could give is, okay, follow the Qutub Sitta. Some people call it as Siyah Sitta, which is the misnomer. Siyah Sitta means six authentic books, which is the misnomer. The right word is Qutub Sitta. The six books, out of which Bukhari and Muslim, the first two are 100% authentic. The remaining four, most of it is authentic, but not all. That is Abu Dawud, Tirmidhi, Sunan Nisai, and Ibn Majah. Some of the scholars even put Muatta Malik instead of Ibn Majah. But the scholars agree that if you read the six books of Hadith, major, most of your fiqh and issues would be solved. So I have to always say, okay, now Qutub Sitta, but again voluminous. So with this in mind, mashallah, I met the head of the Medina University of Hadith Department, Dr. Zayar Aman Azmi, and we came with a project about more than 15 years back. And after Sheikh Zayar Aman Azmi retired, we came with a project of compiling all the Sahih Hadith together in one set of volume and after 15 years mashallah he has just last year completed this project and according to Sheikh Ziyaram and Azmi he says there are approximately 1 million hadith that are there 1 million hadith if you remove the duplicate hadith it only turns out to be 60,000 for example in Sahih Bukhari there are 7,275 hadith if you remove the duplicate hadith it comes to 2,210 hadith so even in Sahih Bukhari, the matter is the same, but the narrator, the difference, so it becomes two different hadith. Same thing with, with Sahih Muslim and the other books. So Dr. Ziyar Rahman Azmin, according to him, there were approximately one million hadith, out of which, if you remove the duplicate, it comes to 60,000. And from the 60,000, approximately 13 to 15,000 hadith are Sahih. So in a span of more than 15 years, mashallah, we got on with this project, and we had a group of scholars helping him and it is compiled now in 12 volumes it is called as Jamia as sahih Jamia Kamil and all the Sahih Hadith have been compiled and with all the reasoning given that why is it Sahih which scholar says it's Sahih etc and whichever Hadith today you quote it will be there it's a human work, so I cannot say 100% accurate. 
we can safely say that more than 95 percent chances any hadith you quote will be there it was that this hadith is there and it is there in bukhari chapter number one hadith number eight or whatever it is and it's also repeated in, in say muslim etc so now this jame say kamil which in 12 volumes has been made into a muktasar that means the reasoning has been removed and it is now coming f even in five volumes and i told dr zayar manasmi that make it into more smaller and even just for the layman for the muslims we may not be scholars only give the matter of the hadith without even the sanat so that it becomes easier now it is present in arabic language it is published by darus salam in riyadh and inshallah very shortly we will translate it into english urdu and then bangla inshallah so that when we say quran and say hadith we have the quran we also have the say hadith compiled mashallah this project compiling the say hadith in one one set of books was the first time done in the muslim ummah many tried earlier but they didn't complete the project and dr zia rahman asked me has completed the project it is printed last year and inshallah we intend translating it into different languages of the world